Friday, January 8th. Hello. This is Still Diverted. Hi guys. I'm Madam K. How long have you been hosting Still Diverted? <laughs> for a long, long time. I set you up for the perfect punchline. Oh, what was I supposed to say? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. Forever. <laughs> Segue. All right, so today we're talking about um, Cardi B. Everything is black today. It's a very black show. That's yeah. not true. We have some other stuff on the prep list, but uh, Whoopi Goldberg um, and Lark Voorhees and all these other people are claiming they're not African American. Nobody American. knows who's Lark Voorhees. Oh, uh, Lisa Turtle. No, because you're young. You're a child. You've been saying about it. And we're talking, um, uh, um, what the fuck? Your mama. Remember that show? I can't even that do this. That was a good show. I can't even do this. It's still diverted. He's real cute. My child is what they want, I can't touch. Remember that episode of What You Need and that Life Is Right Here With Me? Remember the episode of, um, I think it was I Love New York, and it was Sister Patterson, and she was mocking somebody. She was like, he come up in here, and he's like, no, 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 no. Oh, I remember too much stupid stuff. You know what? I used to really love videos like this, where we could just like, just be in the camera, and I'm like looking down on you like, uh, yeah. You're so out of focus. Yeah. You got so focused. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? It's just good stuff. Uh, exactly. That was the 90s for you. Well, exactly. this is probably this like was, 2000. Oh, this was 99. I was going to say 2001. This came out when I was in summer camp. Now I remember Miss Nikki. You Nikki. went to summer camp? Sure did. For what? Nail paint emoji. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to give a big congratulations to Jadita Isler. Woo! First black woman to get a PhD in Astro. Slay it. Ties from Yale University. Get it, girl. Not no old Tallahassee, nasty, last shit, nasty. And what's don't Bo come for Tallahassee. <laughs> and what's about East Jesus nowhere? Exactly. Um. So for those who don't know, because why we why we going extra hard for Yale? Did she go to Yale? Yeah, she did go to Yale. Why we going extra hard for Yale? Like, who cares about Yale? Like, she could have got it from Howard. No, you like, ain't not. I why you why you putting so much power in Yale? No, you right. No, you right. Okay. You right. I just okay. I just for those who might not know, because I had to look it up myself. <clears throat> so the goals of an astrophysicist. The goals. Goal right. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Real, real, real short. So it's to discover the universe, how it works, explore how it began um, and evolves, and search um, for life on planets and other stars according to the NASA website. Citations are everything, guys. Citations are everything. <laughs> no. Um. All right. So let's uh, move on. Are we jumping into... Sorry, I didn't get any sleep last night. I don't know if you can tell in my delivery and everything. I am shit tired. But guess what? We got a show to do. I didn't even know you were going to pull up a clip for this. Um, I didn't know I was going to pull up a clip either, but I just found the clip while you were talking. Okay. And I was like, this is perfect. All right, so um, <laughs> on The View recently... So actually, I guess this all started with... Um, what is her name? Lark Voorhees. Now, if you're a particular age, you're like, yeah, it's Lark Voorhees. If you're like some other people I know, you're like, who is Lark Voorhees? Lisa Turtle saved by the bell. So Lisa oh, Turtle. Lisa Turtle. Okay. That's not her name. Well, her mother pushed out her coochie. She was like, your name is Lisa Turtle. Like, <laughs> she said her name is Lark Voorhees, which is Lark not that great Lark Voorhees. Yeah. I understand why she don't want to be black. <laughs> Leave the Voorhees alone. <laughs> that be eight. I have a Voorhees cousin. <laughs> no, so Lark Voorhees, <laughs> and she puts up a picture and, um, yeah. on Instagram. And she says, uh, basically, she's like, I am not... Um, the whole, I'm not African-American, I wasn't born in Africa, I was born here, I'm an American, blah, 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 blah so on and so forth. So, um, The View was on the other day, and, um, we'll be And over. she said she wasn't black either, that's what, a little bit, that's what I heard. Yeah, that she wasn't black. Oh, well, I believe she would say that too. Yeah. Um, but we'll be over, it was on The View, and, um, here's the clip. This is my country. Proud to be an American. My mother, my grandmother, my great grand folks, we busted ass to be here. Pardon me, I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm sorry. This is, I'm an American. Yeah. I'm not an African American. I'm not a, a chick American. I'm an American. I'm an American. I'm an American. I've been here too long to not yeah. just hold American. Since the 1700s, my people have been here. Okay, so I'm an American alongside of the Native Americans. That's the bottom line. All right, so thoughts? How do you feel? So let's just get into it. We're going to pass a mic around the audience, and then you can all voice your... <laughs> So. <laughs> okay, so where were you born? Good. Where were you? Oh, oh, where were you were born? 
that is your nationality and that's what you represent and that's what you should be proud of what did you culturally grow up with that is your ethnicity okay you were born in america i was born in america I was, I, born in Brooklyn. I, was, I, was, I have no problem being american and i understand that some people of color do not want to be uh, classified as an african-american that would be it. But my problem Which is true if you're not African American. Like if you're if you were born, you know, in Jamaica, I guess tech I mean technically you're not you are kinda of still African. But you're not African American, I guess. But that's where the lines get blurred. Because I'm just It's like, not that blurred. Let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I am of African descent. If I go to Trinidad, which I have been um culturally surrounded by influenced by musically and by Eden <laughs> um, that is where I am from culturally and that is my ethnicity now we are talking about race when it comes down to it and if I'm not black then what I what what am I you know what I'm saying yeah. what what am I white vegan so my problem with Whoopi Goldberg is that she okay you're not african-american but that's not that's not our issue it's embracing the blackness so and that's lark vahar boy lark Voorhees. she Vahar's. tried it her mother tried it her well, father tried it she's already a lost cause like we we've been dragged her out like, right we, but, but we're talking about self-hatred when we are discussing who's black and why are we embracing blackness yeah. and i think that they got kind of lost in the story and they just wanted to bring back up again Oh, I'm an American, and da 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 da, and it's just like, sis, that's not what we're what we're getting at. But oh, that be ain't, that be ain't. I just don't give a fuck. Like I'm at this point now, and I was telling you this before the show. Like I just, you know, when it comes to like shit, like black shit and white shit, and you know, Asian shit, and you know, all the other shit, I'm just like, listen, if if I. I'm just, in, I'm just in a mode right now where I just don't give a fuck. Like, if you're not, don't come with me to sad stories. You watched some fuck-ass PETA ad today. But it, was, it, was, it was just stupid. It was just so dumb. And I was like, talk about something else. I'm just at the point where I feel like we have to embrace our blackness as black people. And I'm not going to give up on that until I stop being black. If I lived in Trinidad, I wouldn't call myself an Af If I was born in Trinidad, I wouldn't call myself an African Trinidadian. You understand? I would just call myself Trinidadian. So, like I said, I totally understand where people who are born in America, who are, um, who usually call themselves African American, they just want to be like, I'm an American, I'm an American. Yeah. But what I want you to do today for your still diverted homework is to Google American people and you tell me what you see. Okay, homework. Americans. Moving on. And that was a read! <laughs> Which was delivered in my best Bevy Smith voice. So speaking of Bevy Smith, she was on um, The Real today. And um, on The Real, exactly right. So on The Real, um, they were talking about, what was it, a 90 day rule? Mm -hmm. And Okay, so the 90 day rule, um, it, it consists of usually women not having sex with men until 90 days are up. So now the men are saying that they are not going to spend money on women until the 90 days are up. So in the meantime, what are we doing these 90 days? What is what is the uh you know, what is our thing? Are we bros? Do we just Netflix and chill? Yeah, do we go to the park? What do we go to the museum so on the Thursdays woman, between two and six? Two and six. You better go to first Saturdays. Um so let me get this. So the woman doesn't put out yeah. and the man doesn't pay money. Right. So then what so what are we doing? Like are so, we is it just getting to I, I, the, the the 90 day rule is just annoying to me in general because if I see you and I want to fuck you within 30 minutes that is my business because I'm grown and I can do whatever the hell I want with my pussy what you won't do is put a price on my pussy and think that you could buy me and take me out to a restaurant and that's how you're gonna get it you have to understand after 90 days after 50 days after 5 years after 6 years whenever I decide to have sex with you it's because I want to have sex with you it has nothing to do with money at all so for the boy, he can give, give you a good old Whitney clap on that one. That was everything. <laughs> I love Whitney. Rest in peace. Um, <laughs> it's just like, why does it have to be like yeah. that? And the no, money, you're right though. Because you know I meet you, about? and you know I want to jump your bones on day two. Oh, why can't? First of all, I don't like That's rules and stuff like that. Like even when Steve Harvey came out with that stupid book, and it was just like, ladies, you gotta put a man, blah 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 right. blah. I'm just like, and for, I hate when they do this thing where it's just like, um, like they like, oh, you shouldn't let the man have sex, blah blah blah. But I'm just like, why do we act like women don't enjoy having sex too? Like I'm just like, <laughs> they're like, well, you gotta wait 90 days before you let them hit. It's right. like, who says I wanna wait 90 days to have sex? 
Like, like, why? Like, they make it seem like, like, just sex and is what just if I just want to have sex with you? What if I don't want to go out with you? What if I don't want to take you out? What if I don't be, want to be out with you publicly? What if you just know how to crack a good back? And that's, that's it. That's and that's what, and I, I don't want to see you again. Exactly. What is the problem with that? I think that we're putting way too much um, pressure on ladies and ladies to think like as if like all they have to offer is their bodies. Yeah. And it's like now I, it's what, what if the 90 day rule there wasn't uh, uh, um, what if there wasn't 90 a real uh, I don't know anybody who actually practices this rule. But what uh -huh. if we do practice rule, this rule and <laughs> stop. Well, I, just, I just need you to break so we can I know, cut it. I know, I know. <laughs> practice this rule and then boom and you say I don't want to give it up do you have nothing else to offer but sex that's all he can get all he can give to you is a couple of restaurant dates that'd be it I don't, I don't believe in those rules I don't but care. I do believe really quickly though um like I believe in like in numbers for certain things but not like I don't say for stuff like sex but not stuff like sex though like I believe in like like, if I'm going to date you, I'm probably going to be dating you. And this is just me and my weird, you know, life or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I have to be dating you for almost, like, probably, like, three months, before, which is 90 days, um, before I, like, put you on, like, any type of social media. Mm -hmm. But that's just who I am as a person. Like, I wouldn't generally put that out. Actually, I would suggest that to most of the people in the world. Because some of y'all just be jumping out the window, like, two fucking weeks in. Yeah. Like, bae forever. And then I'd be like, oh, where's your bae on your Instagram? Where's your bae? But that's none of my where's business. Your but I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like, you know, whatever. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with the rule, but... If that's what you want to do with your body, do what you want, what you want with your body. I could talk all this shit, and it's because I can talk shit. <laughs> but honestly, I am big on kissing. So for yeah. me to even go down on the line of sex, I promise you it has nothing to do with all the, the amount of money that you make or how many dates we go on. It's just like, these are really things that are important to me, and I really want it to be special, not for me, but for you as well. And I want it to be something that's like memorable. I don't want it to just be like, we're counting the days or we're counting, you know, this or that. It's just, don't, you have to think too hard. Yeah, just don't too think hard. too hard. It, it, and it needs to be like a rule for everything. And I'm like, but it right. really doesn't. Like sometimes you can just do whatever works. Right. Do what works There are people for you. who get married after like three months. Yeah, which I'm totally not here for. But, um, that's another thing. That's another thing for another thing. Exactly right. <laughs> that's our show. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the corner. And um, you know what it is. It's still diverted. <laughs> I think we are done. All right, guys. Love to love you. Mwah!